it based a lot around like the th- the name of the album and the theme, I guess, of where all the lyrics were going. A lot of like similar kind of stories across the songs. So we kind of went with something that was like an amalgamation of all the different meanings of the songs, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. Yeah, there's, there's things in the yeah. artwork that like relate to individual songs that I think people will pick up eventually once they hear the record. And just the old school Limp Biscuit style, you know, Australian hip hop style. It was, yeah. it was a big influence. Like the guy who did the artwork, Dash 88, he also did A Quiet Place to Die. Phenomenal like pencil, paintbrush. The, the physical artwork is like, it's a little, it's a fucking masterpiece. Um, yeah. The dude spent, you know, months drawing it. It's not digital. Like if you fucked it up, you can't go back. Yeah. And that's kind of the craziest part is it's, yeah, it's hand-drawn, it's unique. There's obviously been discourse about it, which was funny. Yeah. I, you know, I did actually see a quote. Uh, I can't actually remember right now. They uh, were like, they liked Ice-T that much, they put him on the cover oh, of no, some that shit. That was also funny. That's f- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him, so I can't say. Yeah, you know, he might be a really nice guy. Yeah, apparently he's a hectic mate of the artist. I, really the gangster. I think he's a good guy. The guy on the front, yeah, he looks like a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> don't know him, though. There's a lot of hidden things in there. Yeah, pay attention to the small details and I think you'll see some clues that you, we may or not. Yeah, may read, th- read through the lyrics and then look at it again. Yeah, that's, that's all we'll say.